Well, hey, this is Chase, and uh, <clears throat> some of you may come across this uh, challenge uh, that I'm going to show you how to do of uh, wanting to get, let's say, a list or a bunch of data off of a website, but it's in a form where you really can't copy it. So if you'll notice, I try to go to an Angola, and there's just no way to select it. If I start it up here, there's just there, there's no way to select this text, and it's a little tricky. So um, you may find a uh, information on the web uh, like this, and or even if it's even if it's uh, not hard to copy, it's going to be a mess when you do copy because it's just not going to be all in one straight line of uh, data. So I'm going to show you that. This is actually a web page that has cities located in three columns. And I'm going to show you how to get all of that into a text file. Uh, and it's very easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is, obviously, I'm on the web page. Okay, so this could be any web page. And let's say in the middle of it or some section of it, it has data like cities that you want to capture uh, just for your own database or whatever, uh, your own needs. Okay, so I'm going to right click on here on this page and I'm going to view the page source because the page source is how this page was constructed with HTML code and all these cities will be listed. Okay, so all you have to do is right click on the browser page, generally on a, a white uh, area where there's not much going on. If you do it here, it can get it can get confused. So just right click on some white area and then choose view page source. Okay. Now this is the HTML code that created that website web page, and you're going to see the cities right here. Okay. So all these cities are what I want. But this would be even if you copied this you have to get rid of all of the HTML code like that before you get to the city, okay? So let me just uh, see if I can zoom in. These are the cities, okay? And they're in a, in a row, so to speak, but it's just a mess, okay? So let me show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is up at the top is some formatting of the top of the page. And you'll notice that I come down and the first city I see is Anderson. And you can always confirm this by going back to the previous page and, and seeing Anderson right there. Okay. So I have Anderson as the first city. So I know I want to start selecting uh, some information here. Then when I go down to the bottom, the last one appears to be Zionsville is the last city. Okay. If I go back to the previous tab. Go all the way down. There is Zionsville. Okay, so I know I have between these two cities to capture. Now I'm going to go back just to the top. I'm explaining this so you can hopefully fully understand this. Now, uh, this is the beginning. I want to begin. I could have started like right here, but I'm just going to. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me uh, undo that. Um, I want to start selecting. Uh, above Anderson. So this is slightly above. Okay. And I want to capture Anderson. I'm just dragging my mouse down and holding it down. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to grab all that HTML code and I'm going to get a, I'm going to get rid of all of it in this process. Okay. So there's a Zionsville right here at the bottom and all the cities are selected. And I went down a little bit lower to make sure I got everything. I'm going to get rid of all this other uh, HTML code in just a second. Okay. So what I want to do now, and you can just go into the blue area that's selected and just right click with your mouse. I'm in the blue area and just want to copy all this information. It has all the cities, has some HTML junk that we're going to get rid of, but I just copied that. Okay. Now pretty much we're done with this and I can switch to a text editor. Now, you could use things like Word, but Word gets a little complicated. Uh, so I would I would advise Notepad or Text Edit on a Mac, and just go ahead and paste in the text that you just copied. And use, it's going to be the same. Uh, it's still going to have all this mess, but inside is all the cities individually. Now it would take forever to copy and paste each one of these. I'm not advocating that at all. Okay. So what we have here, and I'll see if I can zoom in, okay, is we have a pattern 
of this phrase and then a bracket and then we have the city. Then we also have a bracket and we have a HTML closing tag for a link. Uh, that's what it is. And that's repeated over and over and over again. And this BTN primary is repeated over and over and over again. And then we get the city. That's the only thing that's different. Okay, now we can work with that. So what I can do is, what I want to do is, ultimately I want to use a program like Numbers, which is also like uh, a spreadsheet uh, program like Excel. I just use Numbers on a Mac. Okay, I'm going to use Numbers in just a second. But uh, what Numbers can do, and any spreadsheet can do, is it can look for some data and separate it. It can separate it into a column. Now, it can't, it can't recognize any words, and it can't really do any symbols like the uh, double quote or a bracket, but it can recognize a tab. So if I put a tab right here, that's a tab. It's not a space. It's a tab. That numbers can see, and it can s separate this data and put this in one column and then the city in another column. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to do that. I'm just giving you the overview. The other thing I want to do is put another tab right after the city. So there's going to be a tab after the city, and there's going to be a tab before the city. But if I type this out each time, that's going to take a long time. If I put a tab right in front of the city and then put a tab right in front of the city, taking a long time. The computer can do this for you in a heartbeat, okay? And it is very easy to do. So I'm just giving you the idea, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area, but I'm also going to put a tab right there again. I'm just going to type it in once. That's a tab right there. So what I'm going to do is select btn dash primary double quote bracket and then the tab I'm going to copy that now you can press command uh, you can right click on it but I'm going to press command C to copy it into memory okay it's it's uh, it's easier maybe to then to do a right click so I'm going to press command C and now that's in memory if I uh, let's just go up to the very top okay if I came down a line or two and I pasted it's got um, that's a tab right there. It's small. It looks small, but it's got the BTN and all that. So that's in memory. Okay, I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so all I've done, let's just review. Let's go. I've got this zoomed in. Uh, all I did was take some of the previous pattern, and then I added tab right before the city. Okay, so I copied that. Now I'm going to take the tab out, just like it's so it's all like the other data. So I found a repeating section, and then the difference is the city. And in between there, I put a tab. Then I copied it. The next thing I want to do is do a find and replace. So uh, on, a, on text edit, you can just hit Command F, and it'll just uh, bring up the find dialog box. It's kind of small here. But what you're going to do is paste in the BTN primaries I just did, and you'll see there's the tab right there. Now it's looking to find it. It, it can't find it because it, there is no pattern, a BTN dash primary double quote bracket then tab. So I want to use this for the replace. So there's a replace button. And so really what I want to do is find, I'm going to take the tab out from the top. It's, it's in memory. Okay, I just want BTN dash primary double quote bracket. And I deleted the tab out, just the tab. I'm going to repaste here. I'm going to paste it in. And so this has got BTN primary, double quote bracket, and then right at the end is a tab. This is the replace section. Okay. Now I can get, it was trying to highlight some things, but I can go up to the very top. Okay. And what I can do is go to the next one. It's kind of fun. If go to the next occurrence, boom. It's found BTN primary. And then it's going to replace it with the lower section with a tab. Now I'm going to do it with all of them. Watch this how quick it is. Boom. It just did all of them. All of them have a tab between the bracket and, and the name of the city. Each one, even if we go all the way down to Zionsville, I mean that was several hundred. <clears throat> and it was done in a blink of an eye. Okay. So let's come down. I got, I'm zoomed in. <clears throat> 
Let's go over so that I got a tab in front of the city on all of them. What do I need? I need a tab at the end as well, right between the city, the end of the city and the first bracket. Okay. So I realize this is getting a little long, but you'll understand this and, and you can just follow along and uh, follow this, uh, pause this video and do your step. The next step, we need to put a tab after the end of each city. Okay. Now you could manually type it, but that's going to be a nightmare of time. Okay. We're not going to do that. So I've just put a tab here. That's a tab. I'm just going to copy the rest of this because there's a pattern. There's a bracket slash a bracket on after each city. So again, I'm copying the tab. It just keeps it simple. Copy, command C. Then I'll take the tab out because I want to do it for all of the cities. Going up to my find and replace window, I'm going to uh, paste in the, that's a tab right at the beginning. And I want to take it out because it's not there yet. I want to have it search for, um, not a tab, but bracket backslash a bracket so i'm going to delete that tab now it can find the bracket forward slash a bracket it found it right there now there's no tab in front of that what i'm going to do is down below on the replace window i'm going to paste in and the tab is right there so we're going to find bracket backslash a bracket and then replace it with the tab in the front and then replace it just so it looks all the same so that's going to do it in a heartbeat again. So all I have to do is click all. Boom. Each city now has a tab in front <clears throat> and a tab at the, at the bottom or at, at the end of the city. Even if I go all the, well, the last one will have, actually it did it. Sometimes if you don't have enough data below and I have these two DIV tags, um, give it some room so it can, uh, search and replace this last line so every city has a tab in front <clears throat> a tab directly after it that is very unique to this text file and a computer can figure that out lickety split so it took a little time whoa that is really small let's just uh, zoom back up so it's kind of normal but every city has a tab in front Okay, it's hard to select, but there's a tab. At the end of the uh, city, there's another tab. And numbers can separate that like a heartbeat. You'll see that, or even Excel, okay? So I have all the cities with tab in front, tab after the city. So easy to do, okay? Select all, okay? Select all your text, even the junk over here. It's, it's okay. Select all, and then press Command-C, or you could right-click and choose Copy. Now we're going to switch over to our powerful program, which is like Numbers or Excel, or you could even use Google Drive and do a spreadsheet. Now this is just as a blank spreadsheet. There's nothing special about it. I can actually go into any cell. doesn't matter which one I use. I'll just use that one, and I'll just paste. Now I'm going to do Command-V, or you could do Control-V on your keyboard. Boom. Now you'll notice... Anderson and Angola and all these cities are in a column D, okay? And then the A stuff is over here in column E. So all the cities have been separated. That's what a spreadsheet can do. It takes all this data, separates it from the city, and I realize there's a, it's a little wacky, but it's, it's done it in a heartbeat. This could be thousands and thousands and thousands, and it would do it lickety lickety split okay so what i want to do next is i want to select this entire column d on a, a numbers you can just click the d column and it'll select it boom just like that now there are some spaces in between that's okay uh, and actually you know what I, I forgot i want to sort this i want to get anderson and angola and all these cities in alphabetical order and a spreadsheet can do that very easily on numbers, you can sort it ascending, meaning start with the A, end with anything that goes down to Z, do it in alphabetical ascending order. It'll do it instantly. Watch this. Boom. There they all are. And they're all in alphabetical order. The city is in the middle, okay, and all the other junk is over here, and that ending c command was right there. Every city 
is right in the middle. Okay, it's so easy, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Fun when you can see this happen right in front of your eyes. Now I can just select column D, which has all my cities. I'm just going to select, and it's going to copy this column. I'll press Command C. Now I'm done with uh, numbers. I'm going to go back to text edit, or you could go back to notepad on a PC. We're done with this. We don't need this file anymore. It has a tab in front. It has a tab after, <clears throat> but we've already separated it. So what I'm going to do is select all and delete. Okay. We're not going to do any find and replace. We're actually done with that. And then I'm just going to paste. Now, I just pasted, but remember there's a lot of uh, spaces. And I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Boom. Okay. So there are a lot of spaces down below. And they just came in as spaces alphabetically. They sort at the end. But look at that. I've got all the cities in an alphabetical order, and I can go all the way up to the top. I'm going to select them. There's one little space right at the top, so I'll just copy this, and then I can delete it, and I can select all, and I'm selecting all the spaces. I can delete that, and then I can paste. What I have now is a perfect list of all the names, or the cities in this case, of that, and I can select it and copy it. I can even go back to numbers, and they're going to be in a in a column. I can get rid of sheet one. Sheet one was my sp splitting the data, and I can just get rid of it. I'm just you're really done at this point. I'm just showing you how well it worked. Now I can take column A, and I can paste in, and there are all my cities. Isn't that? Just awesome, cool, alphabetical order. There's 88 different cities here, and they're in alphabetical order, and it came from uh, this page. That's the source code, but it came from this, which is in three columns. Okay, so I ended up with either text, text data, and they're all alphabetical, okay, or you could have it in spreadsheet form uh, already, and you could just... Uh, you know, use this data. It's It's got eliminated all the junk. So all the junk that was in the uh, source code, it's gotten rid of all of that. And all I'm left with is the cities, which is exactly what I wanted. So there you have it. That's how to sort data with three programs, text edit or notepad on a PC, uh, your browser, and then either numbers on a Mac or Excel on a PC if you have it. Or if you don't have either program, go to Google Docs and use the spreadsheet for free. It'll do the same thing. And uh, with a little uh, practice and just following through what I've shown you, you'll be able to separate all this data for all this, this information that was on a website. Now I have it in a text information, either a text file or in a spreadsheet on numbers. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, watch it through again carefully, step by step. Pause it when you need to. And you'll be able to separate data on a web page uh, just literally in minutes. And it'll save you a lot of time and effort. And it's virtually free to do. So I'm just using basic uh, programs on my uh, Mac. You could do the same on a PC or use Google Documents for free. Have a great day. This is Chase.